today I have uh, cameraman Trav. He's helping me out. Um, we're doing a bunch of stucco on my house, and I we were going to shoot a video last time we were here working, and we we almost forgot. So luckily we thought of it today. We're going to shoot a video, show you, you know, a great simple option of how to up like totally improve your house, the exterior of it, um, without ripping all the stucco off and let's say doing vinyl siding, right? Because that's what most people think. They think they see this old like glass and rock stucco and that it's ugly and they have to rip it off and, and put some other type of siding on it. So what we're doing is I've already started, but we're basically just gonna coat over top of all of that glass, flush it out, and then we're gonna do an acrylic stucco finish. So I'll go through some steps. We're working in the back right now, but as you can see, I've done a little bit of a build out around my door. And then I've popped some new windows in, and now I'm just, I've kind of done a pre-fill around my windows and stuff. Um, and then I'll show you the colors we're going to go with. So I'm just going to stay with a blue color. This is called uh, Normandy. So this, this blue will be from this line all the way down. And then I have a line in my parging, and I'm just going to take it down to there. And then I'll just have parging color from here down. So I have some parking to fix in that. So blue, I'll have this color is called Collingwood. So it's just a nice light off-white color. It'll go with nice with the blue. And then this has enough contrast with the white, so it should look nice and fresh. And these are acrylic stuck with samples. And that's what it'll look like in the end. It's called a floated finish. So let's go to the back and I'll show you what we're up to. So as you can see, we've already got a good start today. We, I call this my first coat. So I've, I've put on my first coat. I'm trying to like trowel it out, get it as even as possible. But the first step in this stucco is, is this. We got our ceramic barbecue. And just like last time Trav was here, we slow cooked and smoked some, some ribs. So that was first step of the day. Get that fired up proper temperature. We got her smoking all day while we work. So now we're on to this. I'll give you a little background information. My first coat, what I'm using is I'm using this bag. It's, uh, it's called Quickcrete Stucco. So I've used that, but I'm not an avid stuck work. This is actually the first time I've ever tried it. I've just taken my confidence and learning and knowing how to run a trowel from all my mudding and taping videos. So I'm using that the concepts that I do know, uh, keep it flat, blah, blah, blah. I'll go into the more detail on that. So, like I said, I'm not avid stuck work. So I'm just using this stuff. This is quick create stucco. But what I do know from my tile experience and a little bit of stone is that this stuff, I find for me, is really hard to stay on my hawk and trowel. Like it's, it's almost just like pure sand. So like, you can't even scoop it or it just falls right off. So then what I do, is I have this Stowe BTS Extra. Now, what it has in it, I won't read everything, it's a polymer modified. So the polymers are the glue that bond it, give it more strength, but it also makes it stickier. And that's how I know from all our tile work that we've done. So what I've been doing is just mixing like 60% this, and that gives me my sand and my cement and a little bit of fill, right? So then, I add like 40% of this and mix it up and that gives it that the polymers give it that stickiness and it's easier for me to run it on my hawk and trowel. So this coat, get it as flat as possible. You know, I got a little bit of um, custom stuff to do because like from this little band, I actually have to kind of blend the wall straight. It sticks out past the wall a little bit. So I just have to try to keep it straight flat and it's a little tricky so but that's first step then after this is cured what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over and call I'm gonna call it my base coat like they do in acrylic this will be I'll use mix this straight up and I'll get this as absolutely as smooth as possible so I'm gonna smooth all that out um, you can see I've done my first coat here of my build outs with this so it they're fairly smooth I'm gonna go over all these with this BTS make it as smooth as possible 
once that's all complete, then it's time for the finish. So these colors, basically you get a five gallon pail of your finished stucco. You get a vial of basically like a pigment that matches this. So I'll take one vial of my pigment of whatever color, dump it in my five gallon pail, mix it up. Now I'm ready. My color is always consistent. Um, but you need that your base coat to be nice and smooth because all this is is basically sand and you just trowel it on. They call it a floated surface. You just spread it on and then you just work with your trowel and it just gives it this little sandy texture to it. So I'm not gonna go into all the crazy details of that, but basically the, the, the point that I'm trying to drive on this is you don't have to rip this old Kroner stucco off. You can coat over top of it, make it look like a modern stucco job. And for the cost, it might cost me $1,500 in materials, maybe less. And my house, I have a brand new looking house. And I didn't have to tear off all the stucco. And, and not that I'm a hater on vinyl, but I kind of am. Would never put vinyl on an old house like this, because then these houses aren't even that sealed. They'd be, it's just, they're not, just be too much air infiltration in your house. I love the, the stucco. It's going to look like a nice modern house. So with that, I'm going to just give you a little, I'm just going to spread a little bit of mud just to kind of see the technique. Alrighty. So Trav's my mixer, my cleaner up guy, my mud man. He helps me get all this stuff situated. So I just have my 12 inch trowel. If you suck at it like I do a little bit, you can just go like this. Just get it on the wall. Trav, he also went around and scraped all the walls, so all these rocks, all the loose ones came off. Otherwise, they call them hitchhikers and they're in your, in your mud real bad. And it's hard to get a nice flat surface with all these little rocks. So that's already been done. But you see that BTS gives it, makes it a little sticky. If it was that straight quick crete, it just, if I tilted the hawk like that, it'd just fall right on the ground. red tape is called stucco tape it's a beautiful thing it doesn't leave residue or anything it come it sticks well but it also comes off easily it's kind of strange but it's great stuff and as you can see a pail of mud doesn't go very far Now time to make the finesse part of it. I just want to be careful when I'm overlapping not to build it up too much. It sets quite fast, so just got to make sure not to build a hump where I'm overlapping. Basically, I'm just keeping an eye out for hollow spots as I trowel, and that tells me if I have a low spot. A hitchhiker here it creates waves in the wall.
Now I'm just looking to see if it's wavy or not, if there's any highs or lows, and it looks pretty good. Unfortunately, we're not smoking any ribs today. That's all right. Um, I just wanted to show you where we're at right now. We're getting real close to putting our finish coat on. This is where I was traveling last time. I've actually hit this one more time. So I did that pre-fill, that first coat, and then this is my second coat with the straight BTS. So it's really flat and smooth. It, it's looking really good. Um, now I've hit these two bands with BTS and, and these bands as well. Um, I'm hoping to get away with one coat on those. What I'm doing, I'm kind of here in the background, I have a, a buddy Jay, he's helping me. He's just sanding, sanding down some of the high spots because because I'm one coating over kind of a textured finish, my trowel isn't 100% flat. So I'm getting a little bit of checking. So we're just sanding those high spots off, hoping that I can do that in a one coat. Um, when I do my finished coat, just like anything in construction, you always start on the, the back corner or somewhere we're least likely to see. So that's where I'm going to start my finished coat. And if for some reason this doesn't look very good or I'm not happy with it, then I'll just go over it one more time with straight BTS again and, and then it'll be smooth enough. So that's kind of where we're at. We just have to fill this, sand some of these. I got to just touch up some, some of my edges of my build outs and then uh, just do a one once over make sure we're good to go and then once I get a little bit of a technique on the the finished stucco I'll go through that with you too. Okay I just wanted to show you one thing here um, without going into a ton of detail but I have a couple hollow spots here that I gotta fill up so this is my coat my smooth coat I call it or the straight BTS but right there is a hollow spot that I gotta fill and right there I don't know if you can see it but just there's some weird hollows I couldn't totally get it flat I was using my 16 inch trowel so what I'm gonna do now is I'll just pre moisten that wall I don't want it wet when I apply my coat but I just want it moist so it doesn't suck all the, the moisture out of my actual BTS itself or it just gives a poor bond you want that bond to kinda happen slowly so I'll pre moisten that and then I'll fill those two areas in and then I'll just blend the edges here with a, a brush and some water and then uh, Jay Meister he's gonna sand these two bands out for me and then I'm gonna coat this bottom band and uh, we'll keep flying I'm, I'm pretty much gonna do a half round it's hard to blend this in patches so I'm just gonna do a big area I don't want to do the whole wall again I'm just gonna do the best I can and I'm gonna size it up to see which direction I gotta fill. See it's flat there, but then I have a hollow like that. It's flat there, so I kinda of gotta work from here down. stuck one for a period of time. It's not, it's not hot out today, it's kind of cool, 
sunlight's not on it, I should be okay. See, I'm going to swipe like that, I can tell I have a hollow spot there. Now it's like, where do I start? Pull a little bit of this over here. I'm going to work a couple sections downward and then try to go horizontal. Because I know this was waving like this, and then this was waving like this near the bottom. how it ground on a spot there. I can see there's a high spot there. So I'll ride the edge of my trowel on a high spot. There's a low spot right there. Just see how sideways goes. Start to get a little dry on in here.
It's looking not bad. Like I'm not gouging that top stuff I trialed out, so let's just hope for the best. Here. Getting a little dry up top there, I'm just going to take a wet brush and just kind of smooth that over. Gee, do you want to get me a little bit There's a little tiny bucket of that brush. Okay, I'm going to call that good. J Mike's just going to get me a bucket here. I think you get the idea. Just wanted to show you the next step here. I didn't quite realize, but in order to get the, the best finish, you should prime your walls. So that's what we're doing right now. We're doing white primer on the top. That's will be my off-white off stucco. And then the four bands below we'll do with just, we've just tinted the, the primer with the same uh, pigment that we're using in our acrylic stucco. So what the primer does is it, it keeps the concrete from sucking the moisture out of the acrylic, gives you more working time. With the floated surface, uh, it's a lot more, a lot easier to see those imperfections. So this will buy us um, a little extra working time, but it also enriches the color. I'm not putting white over top of a gray surface. And same with the blue, like a, a, it'll just be a better, more vibrant color. Jay and I are gonna start this side. First attempt at some acrylic stucco. Jay's gonna be my float man, and I'm just gonna apply, the, apply it on. Basically, I'm just gonna put it on and uh, trowel it as tight as I can. Uh, if you have too much excess, it's when you float it, it just seems to get a weird texture going. Uh, so just, just wanted to shoot it, show you how we're doing it. Um, we've primed the walls, and it's actually cool out today. It's only like 10 degrees Celsius. So we have lots of time, like open time, so we don't have to be in such a rush. Um, if the sun was on it, it'd probably be a different story, but so maybe that'll help make us look like super pros.
I just had to get ahead of Jay Meister a little bit. I'm going to work my way along here. He's going to do the bottom. We'll kind of try to stay at the same pace so when we get around the window, um, the stucco is essentially the same age. And then it's it can just keep running fluid and we'll just keep going. So yeah, it's fairly simple. Watch Jay as he floats it up. that top corner of the window just be careful because it does have a little bit of a weird hollow spot there right right here is the highest spot I had a problem with this corner so it might get hollow in there so it just gets up Hot in this hoodie though.
house is fully done. I actually ended up doing the front build outs on the door um, earlier, actually yesterday. So let's just come take a look. I, I said I'd show you the front, show you maybe a few flaws or or maybe show you how how well some of it actually hid, hid better than I thought. So this build out, I want to point this out. So the on the house I used uh, fine sand acrylic stucco. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but I really like the fine sand. It just sits really flat. It's got a real mild texture to it. Keeps it kind of a modern look. But I had to buy medium sand for my build outs because that's all they had in stock for that color. I wanted a nice bright. And I don't like the medium for the build outs. Just too chunky. Um, regret it a little bit but I'm super happy that I went with the find for the house yeah I was really impressed with how the stucco covered so this fourth band here that was my old parging and I just hit it once with my 16 inch trowel and basically coated over I had some the bottom five inches was kind of a weird textury kind of stuff so I coated over all that and created that line and there was a there was definitely wasn't perfect like there was a little bit of a bow in that wall and it definitely wasn't as straight as everything else but if you look at it it just turned out just so nice so you can actually get away with a little bit more than I thought but as best job as I possibly could prepping it it was super smooth and super straight so these walls I think look superb just because I did a, a, a lot better job just prepping it but if yeah, if you look down this wall, I don't know if you can see just how straight it is. It just looks, I think it looks awesome. I'm just super stoked it turned out really well. So sometimes what will happen is you'll have little missing spots in your stucco. And if you do, I'll try to find one here. All you do is you just take a paintbrush and dab it into your stucco. And just dab it over any kind of missing areas or blank areas. I know there's one over here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Right there, there's a little spot missing. And just dab that with a paintbrush into your stucco and just kind of dab it ever so slightly onto your wall and fix a few imperfections. But So that's it. Now you, and, uh, now you know the difference between fine sand stucco and medium. And you just, it all depends on what kind of look you're going for. So... Okay guys, well thanks for following me, I'm actually real excited that this product project turned out for me and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. That's it for now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or check us out on some of the following.